Hi, I'm Simon Walsh, Head of Maths Doctor. We teach maths to students live over the internet, but today I'm going to be helping you with some mathematical problems. Hi, this film is about how to find a percentage. Now, percentage is useful if you want to compare things. Let's say I wanted to compare two groups and look at the number of boys versus girls in the groups. Well, the first group has 10 boys and there's 100 people in total. So this is a small proportion of boys. In our second group, we've got 10 boys, but there's only 20 in the whole group. So this is a large proportion of boys. Now, percentages give us a way to measure groups by making the size of the groups less important than what's happening inside them. So percentages is a way that we can measure proportion. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have three countries, and they are very different in size. America, as you can see, is about five times the size of the UK, and the UK is about three times the size of Australia. Now let's say we wanted to look at how many females there were in each country and make a comparison. Well, if I did a quick count, these are the numbers I would get. And you can see there's not much comparison. It looks as though America has lots and lots and lots more females. However, if we use percentages to make this comparison, we make each group the same size, making it 100%. Now when we look at the proportion of females versus males, we see a pattern here. It's about half-half. And half-half is the same as 50% boys, 50% girls. So in actual fact, you can see the three countries are very similar. Let's go through this in a bit more detail. If I want to work out a percentage, I start off with 100%. If I split that in half, I get two amounts of 50%. And if I split that again, I get two amounts of 25%. So this is a good way to find percentages. Let's look at an example. Here I have a sale with shoes and handbags, 50% off the shoes, 25% off the handbags. Both items are 60 pounds. So to find 50%, I split this in half and I get 30 pounds. So in terms of the shoes, 50% off means 30 pounds off. But in terms of the handbag, I need to find 25%. So I split it again and we see that 25% off is actually 15 pounds off. Let's look at the same example, but with different values. Here we have more expensive shoes and more expensive handbags. Now again, to find 50%, I split the price in half, giving me 200. So in the case of the shoes, 50% off now means 200. In the case of the handbags, to find 25%, I split that again, and now 25% off means 100 pounds off. But what about if we get other percentages, percentages like 10% and 20%? We can use the same idea, and it is just as simple. So let's have a look at our 60% example, and we want to find 10%. What we do is we split that into 10 equal pieces. So I've got 10% in each piece, which is the same as six pounds in each piece. So in terms of the shoes, we can see that 10% off means six pounds off. And in terms of our handbags, we just double that to find 20% off, which is 12 pounds. So what do you think 15% off would be? Let's have a look at some examples to take this into a bit more detail. First, I'd say let's find 75% of 120. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is find 50%, because that's easy, just split it in half. And then I'll find 25%, split it in half again. And I can see by adding the two together, 75% is 90 pounds. Let's have a look at another example. Here we have 60% of 120. So how would I go about finding 60%? Well, first of all, I find 50%, that's easy, split it in half. And then I find 10%, split it in 10. I add the two together and I find out what 60% is. So hopefully you get the idea. It's a bit of a pattern that you need to work out or a puzzle. Let's look at a couple more quickly. We've got 15% of 120. First I'm going to find 10%. I'm then going to halve that to get 5% and I can add the two together to tell me 15% is 18. Our final example looks a bit tricky, 90%. We're going to do this one a bit backwards. We start off with 100%, then we find 10%, and take it away. So you can see 90% of 120 is 108 pounds. Now that's how you find a percentage. 